both ChatGPT and Meta Llama report big increases in their usage. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with some updated numbers from OpenAI around ChatGPT. The company said that ChatGPT now has more than 200 million weekly active users. That's around twice as many as it had last November, so a 100% growth in the last nine months or so. OpenAI also reported that 92% of Fortune 500 companies are using its products, although it's not clear to me if that means they have users with email addresses representing 92% of the Fortune 500, which is my guess, as opposed to having contractual relationships with 92% of the Fortune 500. And they also said that their API usage has doubled since the release of GPT-40 Mini, which frankly is an even more telling statistic, given that represents a more sophisticated usage that's probably more integrated deeper into the enterprise. In a statement for Axios, CEO Sam Altman said, People are using our tools now as part of their daily lives, making a real difference in areas like healthcare and education, whether it's helping with routine tasks, solving hard problems, or unlocking creativity. As with so many things in this space, the way that someone interprets this news is pretty much a Rorschach test. Is it a sign of the extreme growth of the space that you now have this product that didn't exist even two years ago that 200 million people are using every single week? Or... Does the fact that it got to 100 million people who tested it in the first five weeks after release back in November 2022, and then took a year to double its usage to 200 million people, suggest that the rate of growth is slowing down? Is it possible that both are true? That there was an initial novelty explosion, a period of equilibrium, and now we've moved into more of a period of steady growth, and as we see from that API usage, perhaps even more sustainable growth? You will probably find it unsurprising, given where I sit professionally, that I think that a product that didn't exist two years ago getting to 200 million people using it every single week is telling of just how significant this category of technology is. Speaking of OpenAI, it does seem like that $100 billion valuation investment round that we've been talking about is the same tender offer focused round that they've been working on for some time now. Now, maybe the scope has expanded a little bit so that it's not just a tender offer of employee shares but the point being that this isn't some new round that we hadn't heard anything from. But then again, it might become that. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Apple, who is of course integrating ChatGPT into iOS, is in talks to participate in this round. Bloomberg also reported that NVIDIA has discussed joining the funding round as well. Now, this isn't that surprising. Before being spooked by potential antitrust concerns, Apple's Phil Schiller was scheduled to join OpenAI's board. What's more, with ChatGPT representing such a significant place in the generative AI sphere, you would kind of expect the giants to try to at least get a little piece of that action. Now, on the growth side, OpenAI wasn't the only company reporting some significant growth. Mark Zuckerberg took to threads to announce, quote, Llama is growing even faster than I expected. Almost 350 million downloads, over 20 million in the last month, and a 10x jump in monthly usage since the start of the year. Excited to share the next set of updates and Llama models soon. He also said Meta AI now has more than 400 million monthly actives and 185 million weekly actives across our products. Now, the first statistic, I think, reflects growth in developer usage of Llama after the release of the Llama 3 models, and probably even more after the release of the 3.1 models, including 3.1405B. The 400 million monthly active number, I think, has to do more with the integrated AI features into experiences like Instagram and WhatsApp. Still, to the extent that those types of experiences are people's gateways into AI, there certainly seems to be a lot of people touching them. Now, some people are saying that this is a jump the shark moment. Variety reports that Oprah Winfrey is set to host an AI in the future of us ABC special featuring luminaries like Bill Gates and Sam Altman. It is set to air September 12th and promises to, quote, provide a serious, entertaining and meaningful base for every viewer to understand AI and empower everyone to be part of one of the most important global conversations of the 21st century. The promo continues, Altman will explain how AI works in layman's terms and discuss the immense personal responsibility that must be borne by executives of AI companies. Gates will lay out the AI revolution coming in science, health, and education and warns of the once-in-a-century type of impact AI may have on the job market. YouTube creator and technologist Marquez Brownlee will walk Winfrey through mind-blowing demonstrations of AI's capabilities. Now, trying to read the tea leaves of what the tone will be, my guess is that it'll be fairly middle of the road. Altman tends to be pretty good at striking that balance between the AI safety and the AI acceleration side of the conversation, at least for a mainstream audience. But it is notable that they're inviting Tristan Harris and Azar Raskin, who are the founders of the Center for Humane Technology, who are much more on the AI safety side as part of the discussion. Come September 13th, we will have more on this. A project that has a lot of people excited this week is Magic. 
which has announced a model with ultra-long context, specifically 100 million tokens. Now, the team had announced this work previously, but added some additional updates, including a partnership with Google Cloud to create two supercomputers and a new $320 million investment round from investors including Eric Schmidt, Jane Street, Sequoia, Atlassian, and more. One interesting note, which might give you a sense of where the commercialization of AI is right now, they write, while the commercial applications of these ultra-long context models are plenty, at Magic, we are focused on the domain of software development. If you've been in and around AI Twitter recently, you'll know that everyone is just talking about Cursor. Although the AI coding domain has always been an anticipated early adoption sphere, it seems like it is really taking hold as the first industry where people believe that it will be completely reimagined in the context of AI support. Along those lines, another AI coding platform, Codium, has announced a $150 million Series C. The company has become the latest AI unicorn with a $1.25 billion valuation. In under two years, the company has grown from zero to 700,000 active users and a paid enterprise business from zero to eight figures in ARR. Lastly today, Yale has announced $150 million to support leadership in AI. They will commit more than $150 million over the next five years to, quote, support faculty, students, and staff as they engage with artificial intelligence. Said Provost Scott Strabell, Yale has long been at the forefront of AI development and research, and our leadership continues to be necessary as this technology evolves and endures. To fulfill the university's mission to improve the world and prepare the next generation of society's great leaders and thinkers, we must explore, advance, and harness AI for its benefits while providing ethical, legal, and social frameworks to address the challenges it poses. So within that, some of the commitments that they're making, including expanded research infrastructure, developing a custom clarity platform, offering a walled-off version of ChatGPT 4.0 for Yale faculty, students, and staff, adding faculty positions around these areas, and seed grants for new curriculum. Overall, just another sign of how people are building this out for the long term. For those of you who are still on the AI is just hype train, I would ask you whether Yale ever created a $150 million center for NFTs and the metaverse. For now, though, that is going to do it for today's AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode.